Every e-commerce store owner knows how difficult it is to create product descriptions for thousands of products, but not anymore. My name is Barish and I am a product marketing manager here at TechScoreTex, one of the top 200 early stage AI companies in Europe, and we are building your next level AI companion. Imagine you have an e-commerce store with 5,000 products active and you are adding new ones every other day. It's an insane amount of work to create product descriptions for each of these items in your e-commerce store. But fortunately, Zapier is here to help us. We have recently introduced TextCortex and Zapier integration, allowing you to automate practically everything. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Zapier and connect TextCortex integration to create mass product descriptions for your e-commerce store. Let's get started. So this is our um, Zapier page. You can basically explore what you can do, what you can achieve with TextCortex integration. You can start with the templates here. Uh, you can basically click on try it and it automatically sets everything up uh, for you. Or you can start uh, building from scratch, connecting apps, uh, bundling them into together, um, however you like. That's the second option for you. But we are going to be um, taking a look at one of these particular, yep, here it is. Create product descriptions generated from new Google Sheets row. We are going to be uh, taking a look at this one. So once you click on details, it will show you how this automation process work step by step. So this is a three step automation. Um, you basically configure your uh, spreadsheet. So whenever a new row is added to your spreadsheet, the automation is triggered and then TextCortex integration goes into play and create a product descriptions and uh, triggers another uh, action which updates the relevant spreadsheet row and the relevant um, cell in that particular spreadsheet. So you can basically click on try this template and it will um, set up all the steps here. The only thing you need to do is just configure your own settings and connect your accounts basically. So here, uh, my Google Sheet and is already connected here, and you have to um, specify with what which spreadsheet is going to be used for this one. So I already have a um, store spreadsheet named Store Products. So I chose this, and in which page, for example, I have only one page in that uh, sheet. So I, I choose this one and you can then test this trigger, whether it's set up correctly or not. So as you can see, uh, there's only two row and um, five columns, basically. So the trigger works, everything is great. So you click on continue. And uh, then Zapier wants you to uh, connect your TextCortex account. So I already have um, two, two accounts here, but once you create a new account, you, um, basically you will be asked to provide an API key. So API key, um, it's really easy to generate. You can just click on this link here and we will direct you to our API key page where you can see your API key, or if you have just created your account, you can just click on this generate API key and you can directly copy this um, value here and connect a new account. You can just paste it here and then you should uh, give a display name, uh, test API key three. Yes, continue. That's basically it. So you will have your um, um, account visible here. And if you, I mean, should you uh, have multiple accounts running, you can basically give them a display name so that you can discern them from one, in on, one another. And um, also in case of, um, in case you lose your API key, you can generate a new one without having to worry about your API credits. So yeah, 
we are done with this part and yeah now you have to configure the action so this part is important because um, you have to configure your um, action setup um, in accordance with the um, fields with your Google Spreadsheets. So there should be a relevant field in your spreadsheets that could be um, placed as a product name, for example. So I configured my spreadsheets as you can see here. Um, so I have product name, product brand, product category, features, and keywords. Keywords is an um, this is an optional field, but um, it's, it's a nice to have if you want to specify certain keywords in your product descriptions. So, and you have to specify which rows and which columns basically um, matches with those fields. So in my case, product name is this Ghibli and product name matches with this column here and product category again you just fill out this dynamic fields and product features up here and keywords luxury car so you um, you can insert multiple keywords as well and uh, arrange your spreadsheet fields um, accordingly. And based on these fields and based on these values, now let's try this and see how uh, how well a product description can be generated with just uh, with the information we have in our hands. So let's click on test. And here we are. The Maserati Ghibli is the perfect combination of luxury and performance in a sleek. Modern package with its 2023 model year, the Ghibli offers all of the latest technology and features while providing a luxurious driving experience. Um, and as you can see, in just three or four seconds, you can create a product description this long and basically automate the whole process um, without you having to create any of it basically. Let's continue with our automation now. So um, now that we have the product description uh, in our hands, now you need to configure the update action so that uh, which row will be updated and which row the product description will be placed in basically. So you have to configure that. So let's, um, yeah, so let me just configure these fields. Row, row ID two. And you have to update this one here with the generated text field. So now that we can see it here, basically, so um, we selected row number three, uh, number two, sorry. And once we click on test, we will be seeing a product description generated and update it um, in this particular cell. Oops, yeah, that was really fast. So that's the idea, basically. So uh, you can also apply this through thousands of rows and you can basically reduce your workload by 70% almost, like this is an insane amount of manual work and you can automate the whole process in a breeze. As you can see, that's just the tip of the iceberg. What you can do after this step is basically you can connect your Shopify store and uh, add one more action step that creates a product in your Shopify store. And then you can fill those product information with the fields that you have in your spreadsheet. And this is basically a fully automated process 
where you just have to update your spreadsheet and it gets automatically um, into the Shopify infrastructure as a new product or you can uh, do this to update your products. So it's just all about automation and that can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share, but most importantly, leave your comments on what you would like to see being automated by us. We are thinking of making this Text Cortex and Zapier integration a playlist for you on, on our YouTube channel. So expect more videos in the upcoming weeks. And yeah, until then, see you soon.